this little video should hopefully help explain some variations to scheduling as based on our model schedule. So as you'll see here, there is a side-by-side -side comparison on a couple different ways that you could um, begin your enrollment in the program. So on the left is our traditional model schedule where this would be a high school graduate coming right into college, beginning in our program in the summer, taking that EMT basic class, that EMMS 1103. So the 1103 class, seven credit hours, that is the one semester class to obtain the EMT basic certification. That class is offered every semester summer, fall, and spring. So technically you can begin taking that class at any point or any term of enrollment. Okay, then in fall first year, you can see in this the schedule on the left, you begin doing some introductory classes, general education classes, and an elective. Whereas on the right side, if the student were not to begin during the summer, they could begin in the fall taking the EMT basic class, that seven credit hour class, along with some introductory operations classes and another elective. Now notice on both models, the majority of those classes are highlighted in red and in that gray box. That is what's considered our paramedic cohort. That only begins every spring semester. So beginning every January is when that cohort begins. So all those red classes have to be taken in that respective semester and in that order. They must be blocked together. There's no deviation from that. To get into the paramedic cohort, you must have credit for EMMS 1103 or have obtained your EMT basic certification elsewhere, basically as a transfer student. Now you'll see comparing the left to the right in the left, that last semester would be a would just be full of EMS classes and finishing up some general education classes. On the right side, it's all EMS classes and then that one elective. Okay, so general education classes and electives can be taken any semester. The big thing is is those classes are in that gray box. To begin that in January, you must have the EMT basic certification by the first day of the class. Otherwise, the other classes can be shuffled around as needed. So you can see on the right side, all those general education classes are kind of at the end, or on the left side, they're all on the forefront. So on the left side, that's more targeted towards that high school graduate with no transfer credits, no prior experience, anything. On the right side can be that person who transfers in with some credits, or what have you. But again, all the gen ed classes can be taken any semester. The only semester is difficult, as you can see within those model schedules at spring the first year, that's 15 credit hours no matter what. So trying to take another class center taking 18 hours, you would need an override because that's beyond your max hours. And same thing in the summer. So generally that fall second year provides a little bit of flexibility in scheduling and fall of the first year. Okay, so fall first year, fall second year, generally we're gonna get some flexibility in your scheduling. Now that is for the associate degree model. Then in our certificate model, that's basically all the bare minimum classes needed to obtain the paramedic certification. So you notice in this, there is no general education courses. But again, everything in a gray box, that all begins in January. So within that same cohort is certificate majors and associate majors. Now a lot of people ask what the difference is between the two. Coming out as a graduate of both of them, you're eligible for certification as a paramedic and then upon certification, you're eligible to begin employment as a paramedic. But overall the difference between the education model most people are getting an associate's degree who will be looking into going into supervision or management somewhere down the line. Most of these agencies are now requiring some form of higher education to promote up within the ranks. So that would be an associate degree or higher. 
There are also multiple opportunities to expand on from that with that associate degree. Now, most places aren't going to accept a certificate degree as really anything, but um, they can transfer in some of those EMS classes to other schools who may offer a paramedic program, who may offer a bachelor's model of that. But with that associate degree, you can transfer that on, go on to get your bachelor's degrees or higher. It's a very competitive industry at the big lucrative agencies. So having that associate's degree can really help you be more well-rounded and more well-educated person. And the employers look highly upon that whenever they're going and interviewing applicants for either new employment or for promotion. So hopefully that clears up most of the questions regarding our model scheduling.